Once upon a time, there was a little Christmas tree. It lived in a great big forest, and it was surrounded by big, tall Christmas trees with long, bushy limbs. And because the little Christmas tree was shaded by all of the big Christmas trees, it just couldn't seem to grow. It just stayed little. Every year it tried its best to grow, but each year it was still just a little kind of scraggly tree. And at Christmas season, the people would come into the forest to cut down their Christmas trees. And the little Christmas tree wanted so badly to be a real Christmas tree, to be in somebody's house all decorated and beautiful. But nobody ever picked it. Because, you see, it was too little. They'd chop down the biggest tree of all in the forest every year and take it, they said, to put up in the city square so all the people while they were shopping could see it and enjoy it. And then the little Christmas tree would hear other people come in and they would look for medium-sized trees with nice full limbs because they were going to put them next to their fireplace in their living room. And that sounded very exciting to the little Christmas tree. But nobody ever wanted a little Christmas tree. They always wanted big ones or medium-sized ones. And every Christmas, Christmas Eve would come and the little Christmas tree would stand all lonely in the woods thinking, I'll never, ever be a Christmas tree, and the tears would roll down off of its limbs and plop into the snow. And then one Christmas Eve, when everybody else had finished cutting down their Christmas trees, a little Christmas tree heard footsteps in the forest. And he heard two men talking. And then the little Christmas tree heard them say, No, that one's much too big. We don't we need one that big. And then another one said, Oh, that's kind of medium-sized, but we really don't want a medium-sized one either. We want a small one. A small one, thought the little Christmas tree. I'm small. I'm just what you need. Look at me. Look at me. See me? And he tried to quiver his limbs and stand up as straight as he could. And the men passed him by. And then they stopped. And one of the men said, Wait a minute. There's a little one. It's kind of scraggly and kind of scrawny, but I think we could decorate it, decorate it up right pretty. I believe it's just the right size. Oh, the little Christmas tree was so excited. They cut it down, and they put it in the trunk of the car, and because it was too big to shut the lid on it, it got to see out. They tied it down with some ropes, and, and through the woods they went and into the city, and for the first time, the little Christmas tree got to see the tallest tree of the forest standing in the city square, all beautifully decorated with lights and balls and snow on its limbs. And the little Christmas tree thought, Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be the big Christmas tree in the square? But they passed right on by. When they got to the house, they opened up the trunk and they took the little Christmas tree into the kitchen. And they began to decorate it. And the little Christmas tree felt very proud and happy. They were putting lights all over it. They were decorating it with red and green and gold balls. And, and then they sprayed some snow on its limbs. And the little Christmas tree thought, Oh, goody, I'm going to be able to go in the living room and sit by the fireplace. But they carried him in the living room. And to the amazement of the little Christmas tree, there was a medium-sized Christmas tree already standing in the living room. It had beautiful limbs and gorgeous decorations. And he thought, That's not where they're going to put me. And the next thing he knew, they were going upstairs. And one of the men said, This one will be just right for the little fellow's bedroom. Bedroom? The little Christmas tree didn't want to be in somebody's bedroom. And then they opened up the door, and the little Christmas tree saw a little boy lying in the bed. There were crutches sitting next to his bed because the little boy couldn't walk. And his name was David. And his daddy said, David, we found a tree just right for you. We're going to put it on your dresser. And David looked all excited and glad. But the little Christmas tree was thinking, I didn't want to grow up just to sit on somebody's dresser. Well, when they put him on the dresser, the little Christmas tree saw himself in the mirror. And he was right beautiful with lights and balls and snow on his limbs. And then the little boy said, Daddy, can Santa Claus come up here to my Christmas tree? And his daddy said, Well, I don't know why not, son. We'll leave a note by the tree in the living room and tell him to please bring the toys upstairs. What? The little Christmas tree thought. Santa Claus is coming upstairs? To see me? Well, that Christmas Eve, little David finally went to sleep. And the little Christmas tree's lights were beginning to blink slower and slower because the little Christmas tree was getting sleepy, too. And then he heard footsteps on the stairs. Oh, 
Somebody's coming. Who could it be? And then he heard the doorknob go, and the door opened just a peek, and a great big red nose stuck itself inside the door. And then the little Christmas tree saw white whiskers and long white curly hair and a great big red suit with a black belt on it. And in the door walked Santa Claus carrying a sack full of toys. And he said, Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And the little Christmas tree just shivered with delight. Santa Claus pulled a fire engine out of his bag of toys. It had a ladder on it that would go, and stand straight up in the air. And a little tiny man went, click, 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 up the ladder. And then the little man went, click, 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 down the ladder. And the ladder went, and back down on the fire engine. And then he put a drum underneath the tree. And before he set it down, Santa Claus went, rat a tat 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 And the little drum played. And then he put a little man on a toy motorcycle. And he wound him up. And the motorcycle went around the little Christmas tree. Oh, the little Christmas tree was so excited. And then Santa Claus said, well, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! And he picked up his bag of toys and he was gone. The little Christmas tree couldn't wait for little David to wake up. And finally, as the sun was beginning to streak in the windows, David began to stir. He opened one eye and then the other eye. And then he sat straight up in bed and he said, Oh, yay! Santa Claus has been here. And his mom and daddy came into the room and they made the fire engine work. And the little man went click, 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 click. And they went rat a tat a tat a tat on the drum. And they wound up the motorcycle and went round and round the Christmas tree. Oh, what a wonderful time they had. And that night when Christmas was all over and the little boy had had his Christmas feast and he was about to go back to sleep again, the little Christmas tree thought to itself, My goodness, I'm glad I wasn't the big Christmas tree sitting in the square on Christmas Eve because nobody was out there. Everybody was at home in their warm houses. And I'm glad that I wasn't the little Christmas tree down by the fireplace because tonight Santa Claus came to my very own upstairs bedroom and he put the toys for the little boy who couldn't walk right underneath me and I got to see the joy of his face when he woke up this morning. And then the little Christmas tree thought, it wasn't bad at all being little. I'm glad I'm just the size I am. Because I was small, I was able to bring happiness to a little boy and to see Santa Claus and to enjoy all of the fun of Christmas.